so as the uh, media uh, throng disassembles itself and we wait there's uh, see the background Kirsty Hockley from Fuel Your Media uh, one of the number of media outlets that are here Chris Walker in the foreground from carpix.net uh, we have got a lot it's great to see there's Stu Stratton uh, lots and lots of different media here that is just the start oh yes Henry that was that was that was very very good I but, very much enjoyed that but this is now this class this class will be, I am sure, just as exciting, but also Cart Mechanic Bingo is about to take place, I think. So, Nicole, Cart Mechanic Bingo and some go-karting. Woohoo! What a race. Right, so, Austin Newstead is starting on the front row. He's starting second. Austin, one of the most focused and determined drivers at this circuit this weekend. Austin, how are you feeling ahead of this race, and do you think you can take the home the GP plate? Yeah, hopefully I can just get away and push away with someone and hopefully on the last lap I can win it. And what does it what would it mean to you to win a Cart Masters final? I'll be over the moon as it's my first year in this class, as there's quite a few people around me that have done it for one more year than me. Great to speak to you, Austin. Very best of luck. Starting off of pole will be Will Green in the Jamie Green Racing livery. Will? Fantastic weekend so far for both you and the rest of Jamie Green Racing. How are you feeling ahead of this race and why do you deserve to win? Well, hopefully we can come away on top, but just got to stay calm at the start of the race and try and get away and then battle out on the first few laps and then take it on the end of the race. Good luck to you, Will. Thank you. Starting behind Will, then we have Colby Patterson in the ORM livery. Colby. If you could sum up your weekend at Kart Masters with one word so far, how would you sum it up? Brilliant. And if you could sum up what you think is going to happen in the final with one word, what would the word be? Uh, a really good fight. Great to hear from you. We'll then head behind this driver to one of our drivers who has joined us from overseas, Denny Babacek. Denny? Privateer driver within this class, but you're doing the double. You're also uh, racing in Minimax. How are you feeling ahead of your first final of the day? Um, trying to get as much focus as possible and trying to win both. And what would it mean to you to win? I would be very happy and obviously very proud. The horn has gone then to head off for this final. We'll go up to Henry in the box. So, Water Swift restricted, done. Water Swift Inter coming up very, very shortly. Looking forward to this one. It's a stacked grid, Henry. Yes, it is. Now, there's Finley, uh, there's Finley Bunce uh, looking uh, a little bit Euro there. He's got, he has got his radio tucked in on the back, sadly. So he loses a point there. Uh, didn't see uh, much of it. Alex T uh, walks away from Jarla Sayers cut. Now he has got the tight shorts on, very tight shorts. Hairpiece, uh, not hairpiece, he wishes. Uh, earpiece <laughs> in, round the back here. Here is your starting lineup for Water Swift Restricted. Will Green starts from pole position alongside Austin Newstead. Cole Patterson and George House go from row two. Denny Babacek and Oliver Warner, row three. Harry Williams and Jarla Sayer on row number four. Row number five, Finley Lines. Row number six, uh, no, tenth, sixth place. Row number five, <laughs> Finley Lines and Max Mason. Row number six, Sigmani Kira and Harley Musk. Row number seven, Freddie Wood and Mason Brooks. Row number eight, George Clark and Jensen Ackerman. Then it is Luca Narraway, Blair Smith, Callum Graham, Grayson Wardley, Enzo Butterazzi, Lorenzo Di Pietro Antonio, Austin Gibson and Nathaniel Hodges. 25th will be Zach Champney, 26th is Derek Rivera, 27th Baron Al Altinsoy, 28th Orion Meta and rounding out our 29 cart grid in Waterswift Inter. Charlie Clough. Now, Water Swift Inter, we've had some drama this weekend. We've seen yes. the E play, of course. Finley Lines making his way up and down the grid. He's been quick at points, also had issues. We've also seen yes. drivers at the front of the field, of course, being there ever present. Zach Green, uh, this, well, Will Green, sorry, Will Green has been right there. This is the class that Lewis Hamilton won. It was called Cadet Coma back in the day. 
This is the class that Lewis Hamilton has won. So has Alex Sims, Oliver Rowland, Scott Jenkins, Jordan Alex Lamb, Alex Alban, Roy Walker, George Russell, Connor Duck, Jupp, Dan Tictum, Dee McDonald, Alex Quinn, Kean Jewis, Taylor Barnard, Zach O'Sullivan, Josh Erpman, Keen Nakamura Burton, Nathan Ty, Noah Wolf, Riley Crannon, last year's champion, Jesse Phillips. They come in to the tram lines with rain in the air. Lights are out. We are up and racing. Have they got grip going no, through the first been... corner? No, they don't. Oh, Austin no, Newstead has gone. Newstead and Colby Patterson are out. The babyface assassin for BMR restart getting his cart back into the track. And Patterson has also gone wide, and they're tiptoeing through turn four. There's rain on the track. They're all on slick tires. Yes, absolutely. A, a dream start for Zach Green at the front of the sorry Will Green at the front of the field. That all that contact at the first. I said it again. All of that oh. rubbing and spinning at the first corner has given him a lovely advantage. But it's certainly not a dry track out there. Wet lines even from our race leader. Yes, indeed. Uh, there's the PF plate in the middle of the pack. George Clark. Uh, a little bit of uh, housekeeping last year. Finney Lines finished fifth in this race. Will Green, he finished second in the British Championship last year. He finished second in this race one year ago. George Clark, 15th last year. Jala Sayer was 11th last year. Uh, Jensen Ackerman came home 10th last year. Now, Austin Gibson in car number 52. He is the reigning, well, he's not the reigning uh, Water Swift Restricted Champion anymore. He is the only driver in the field with uh, Cartmaster's title to his name, however. The top three in Watership Restricted last year are all in this race. George House and Austin Newstead, they were second and third. But it's not the BMR restart cart of uh, Austin Newstead at the front, it's the BMR restart cart of number 77, George House. He seems to save his best for this event. Look at the lead that Will Green has got. He has won every single final on a Sunday in the British Championship so far this year. They do double header rounds. He doesn't do well on the Saturdays. He saves his best for Sunday. And today is Sunday. Yeah, we're definitely a way away from the overall lap time that these carts can achieve. Yeah. And you can still see the drivers searching, scrabbling for grip away from the normal racing line. Slippery surface flags are out, which means the rain is getting heavier. Yes. One, well, it was 1.8 at the start of the lap. It's now 2.1 seconds for uh, Will Green ahead of Denny Babacek. And we're having plenty of fights. That was Marnie Kira going over the curbs at Bobby Game Corner and fighting with all of her teammates and more. Uh, and I'm looking. Uh, did anybody get... Well, of course, the two drivers that gambled on wet tyres in the Water Swift Restricted class, their performance probably convinced all these inter mechanics that slick tires are the way to go if there was one driver out there on wet tires it would be game over i don't know if it's actually quite that wet yet henry i mean they're still doing one minute nines which is about what six seconds away from our fastest lap yeah, in qualifying about six seconds but if, I you think do, wet if you do tire... three laps on in these conditions you're 18 to 20 seconds up the road but i don't think it's quite wet enough for the wets and has anyone gone on wets in this race actually Let's i have a look. don't believe they no have. i i still think it is probably too dry for the wet tires but that doesn't really make a difference if there's no one on wets because it's a it's a run what you've brung situation yep. now as a wide the uh, the Fullerton S's goes to 23 in third place of Oliver Warner yes no he's not 30 seconds now so it must yep. have been a, a change Where's of position there Denny so George House. Where's Jenny with Denny Babacek no see so this is about the ah. third third fourth and fifth Warner, uh, he's, this is a brief outing for Warner in the UK this year. He uh, focuses on racing in Europe now. Uh, and uh, Blair Smith from Scotland. Uh, Stonehouse Smith uh, into ninth Ooh, position. That's a bold. Oh. bold move up the inside from the 63 there of Will. Harry Williams going up the inside of Oliver Warner that was hip and shoulder. It was a yep. hip and shoulder. It was a, a hip, shoulder, and probably a thigh as yes. well. Yes, yeah, there was a full side-to-side -side contact. They continue on, live to fight another day. 55 there, are going <laughs> on the inside of Blair Smith, using the dry line and finding decent grip. So I reckon some of these drivers will start to migrate towards the normal racing line as the last lap yeah. times were two seconds <laughs> faster than the lap previous. Who's fastest on the circuit, Henry? It would be the driver in stone last, Austin Newstead. Yes, our last of our runners. Unfortunately, Charlie Clough no longer running in this race. But Austin Newstead, we saw him beached at turn one after getting spun around at the start. He 
is absolutely flying, but he's got a lot of work to do. 20 seconds off Just of the lead. 17 seconds from se second place. That, I think, is unlikely to be a podium, but we've seen stranger things, especially if the rain falls heavier. And, you know, you have to say that Austin Newstead, when he gets into the thick of the pack of carts, he is 20 seconds off the lead. He's got to get past Orion Meta. Uh, and then he'll be, which he's just done so, uh, he's now got five seconds to make up before he catches the main body of carts. When he does that, I am sure the moves will come thick and fast. Finley Lines, the E-plate holder, takes the wide line through turn, the first hairpin. Warner on the outside, that is the, uh, the fusion cart number 52 of Austin Gibson now getting shuffled wide. The 21 of Harley Musk moves up a position. Another of the fusion drivers. Lines running in fifth. This is the battle for sixth place on back. Warner is, uh, is in sixth. It's Williams, Gibson, Musk, Blair, Smith in cart number 55. The Oliver Rowland Motorsport cart three wide, three wide. And the PM plate, George Clark makes his move at Mason Brooks. Her picks up a couple of positions. Brooks was threading the needle through the Mike Wilson complex there. Uh, why is Will Green so much faster than everybody else? It's quite simple. He's out on his own. Teddy Babacek, he hasn't got much experience here at PM International in these types of conditions. He now drops behind uh, George House. Well, second in restricted last year. He's second on the road now. There's another Jamie Green racing car, Freddie Wood. Freddie Wood started, where did Freddie Wood start? He started 13th yesterday. What, what? He, Freddie Wood has one top 10 finish out of his four heat races. In fact, he's got one top 12 finish out of his four heat races. And yet, here he is when, when it's crunch time up in the top four battling for a podium. Here's the best battle. Warner has got past Lines, and Lines now going to lose a place to the number 63 of Harry Williams. Right behind these two is the number 52 of Austin Gibson. Up, there he is. Austin Gibson right behind Finley Lines. Up. Do you want to know how many places? 15 places Pardon? gained. 15 places gained from the 52. He oh. is up, well, 14 now, actually, up to, he went, lost a place on that last lap, but 15 places gained from 20... Third, yeah, ninth. My, no, oh, my maths is nowhere near right. Yeah. Well, I mean, there's two British champions, uh, former British champions in this race. Austin Gibson won the British Water Swift restricted title last year. Uh, Austin Newstead was the 2021 oh. Motorsport UK Bambino champion. Uh, Austin Gibson is the only driver in this race with a GP plate to his name. He won the restricted class last year. And they're three wide coming up the short shoot. Uh, it's the battle is on for fifth position on back. Fifth, sixth, seventh, eighth, ninth, tenth. If only this was for the race lead, we'd be talking about a classic Kart Masters final. The first final was decided on the very last lap. I think this final might have been decided at the very first corner. Yeah, they say you can't win on the first corner. Well, sometimes maybe that is true, but it wasn't really any of Will Green's doing. He just got a good start. And then ever since then, everyone else has been fighting over second place. And that fight for second place is monumental, Henry. Look at that down the right-hand side. Oh, look at this. Three wide through the banking again. And who comes out in front? Mason Brooks. Mason Brooks started this race from the outside of the seventh row of the grid in the number 84 Fusion Motorsport cart. He is last year in the uh, Water Swift Restricted class, he finished seventh. He's moved up this year, and I'm looking to see where Mason Brooks, uh, his heat results yesterday, they were, over the course of the uh, week, they, they not much to write home about. Uh, uh, a ninth, a 16th, a 17th, and a 25th. Here he is now running fifth. Yes, there's more fighting two fusion motorsport carts going side by side and following them through is the 55 of Blair Smith as well. Yeah, Jarla Sayer losing out there, I mm, think. It was okay. Austin, Austin Gibson battling. Oh, uh, uh, someone took a cut. That was Austin. Uh, there, was, there was two carts that have collided. They, 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 they came Aust back on. There was an uh, there was uh, uh, Oliver Rowland cart, oh. and it was Blair Smith and. Austin Gibson. Yes. Austin Gibson was the driver that made up 15 places, unfortunately dropping back down the order now, and I think he admitted mixed corner, so I don't know whether there'll be further repercussions from that, but this is our three-way fight 
for second place at the moment. It is the 38 of Freddie Wood, then the George, George House, the 77, then Denny Babacek, the back yes. of the shot there, the privateer, 35. Yep, uh, we've got, uh, again, Tommy van der Stroes uh, tuning in, watching. Uh, Alex Goldschmidt uh, is watching. He's, I think he should be commentating, Alex, but, you know, it's going to be exciting no matter what you're doing. <laughs> mm. Into the Fullerton S's. There's the number 38 car. Oh, no. oh, that's, uh, oh, that is Luca Narraway and Nathaniel <laughs> Hodges. Look at this drag race, Henry. It's, 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 it's a drag race to hairpin two. The 93's got it. <laughs> oh, they were two drivers that qualified really well on Friday, and they just haven't been able to maintain their speed at the front of the pack. Denny Babacek looking up the inside of George House. Can't get the move done there. With the gap at the front of the field is continuing to extend. Currently, Will Green in a different postcode, nearly five seconds yep. up the road. So this is a battle for second, barring any torrential downpours or post-race penalties. So Will Green is likely to be your Grand Prix winner. However, as we've said, never say never. The next question is, can it be a 1-2 finish for the Jamie Green racing team? We spoke to the team on the Thursday night paddock show whilst they were playing Uno in their awning. And uh, we said, we've never had, they've never had a win. Will Green said, yes, there's going to be a win this weekend. Could there be a one-two finish? Now, I saw Jamie, I saw Will Green's mum uh, coming off the banking a little, uh, after the pre-final, looking a little bit fraught. She was like, only one more to go. You know, all, all of us, all of us, uh, you know, here, we love this. The only people that don't love the exciting racing, the mums. Uh, they, were, <laughs> they watch through, you know, biting the bitten fingernails, through clenched fists, you know, trying to peek around the, the corner of the sofa at home if they're not here at the circuit. But this battle, now, lap times have come back to normal dry weather speed. So, you are right, tire, wet tyres would have been the wrong call. Uh, it's a long race as well, 15 but, minutes plus a lap, the longest we've had this weekend by three minutes. And uh, the heat's running 10 minutes plus a lap, so a good... A good four or five more laps, depending on where they come over the line. But it is Will Green at the front of the field that still leads by a decent margin. Up the inside Denny. goes Denny. Denny, Denny, Denny goes up the inside for yep. second place. Then He's Freddie Wood follows through. No, no, Freddie Wood has overtaken. It was George House that has followed through. Denny Babacek, back in 2021, as a Micromax driver. Uh, Denny was in the top five in the Rotax Grand Finals. He's raced... Uh, he raced at in the, in the PF round of the British Championship earlier this year, mm -hmm. uh, specifically to test for this event. You know, he's not racing the world, he's not here because he's racing at the World Championships later in late next month in September. No, he is here, just he's done the testing here for this event. He wants to be the British Grand Prix winner in karting. Colby Patterson, who has now re Colby Patterson is on a recovery drive up in the 10th. Austin Newstead is mired back in 23rd, having just gone past Spain's Derek Rivera. Yeah, Newstead, of course, we saw on the first lap, got a bit more waylaid in that first corner incident because he, his cart got beached. He had to pull it out uh, off of yes. the grass banking. Oh, uh, Austin Gibson's retired. Austin oh, Gibson. Austin. He was so. having such a good race, wasn't he? He was up, I think it was at 15 places, and then got shuffled backwards, and then maybe... He realised that he... Uh, maybe there was an issue we were yeah, unaware of. Yeah, there were, and there was a other little collision then with Blair Smith yeah, that uh, might have put us, given the cart some terminal damage. Uh, Question. Yes? Uh, you may not know off the top of your head, but I'm sure you right, have it somewhere then. in your notes. Ooh. A 5.4 second gap and growing. Yes. Biggest cart master's victory margin is about to be the next crash off, off your lips, Piers Pryor. Correct. Um... Mm. We've had Oliver it, Hodgson uh, absolutely spanked them one year in uh, senior road. In, in senior road what tax. about cadets? This may well be the largest cadet winning margin uh, if it stays I would imagine, it is. Yeah, this would be the largest cadet winning margin. I am struggling to think. Now, back in 2012, we had a very wet Minimax final mm. that Philip Rawson won uh, because Philip Rawson got into the lead just before the rest of the leaders started knocking seven colours of you-know-what out of each other, mm. which then delayed them considerably. Yes. But so certainly cadets, no, we are, we are not used to large winning margins and at if, all. And if the second place battle keeps going on like it is on this lap, which they've changed two or three times, we've been discussing that, then the gap at the front is only going to extend. It was yep. five seconds at the start of this lap over the line, which they do come now for second place. Will Green hasn't, we, 
So Five every once a in a while, on the top of your screen, you'll see every time a driver sets a new fastest lap, you see their names crop up, which you're, uh, you know, we haven't seen Will Green's name crop up on that list at all. No. Why? Because he's not, he's not the fastest cart in the race. He's leading by five and a half seconds, but Colby Patterson, Austin Newstead, other drivers have been setting the fastest laps. Uh, he has just got, you know, he has just got clear track. He's, all, he's, doing, him. he's doing everything he I needs mean, to do. He's, the, he's lapping. He's not lapping slowly. That's, that's, that's not that's the case. Enough. Right. The clock has struck zero. We've hardly seen Will Green because we're looking at this back on the second. Denny Babacek trying to become a podium finisher for the Czech Republic. There's Finley Lines still battling with Mason Brooks and Harley Musk. And the number 24 of Colby Patterson, who had that incident at the start with Austin Newstead, he is something like that. This uh, is the battle for the podium, though, because oh, there's three drives in this group. Only two of them will stand on the podium. It looks uh -huh. like actually a yeah, bad exit out of the last corner from Freddie Wood. He might have lost the toe, but I reckon that these two on the final lap are going to fight, and they are. Can we go around to the outside? Can House oh, do wheel, it all the way around the outside? No, he can't. He slots back in and then defensive goes Denny Babacek and looking up the inside goes Wood. Gets a bit tangled on the rear of the 77 of House. This, uh, and then everyone else shoulder. is fifth. They're closing in on the battle of a second. Will Green now seven seconds up the road. Richard Mitchum points out that Ricky Christodoulou won in Yamaha uh, before even my time, lapping nearly everyone up to fifth. He's probably on one of those special Christodoulou engines. We don't go there. Uh, here we go then. <laughs> Will Green into the Mike Wilson complex. Second last year. It's going to swap the two for the GP plate in 2024. It was absolutely a walk in the park for Will Green and the Jamie Green racing team. Denny Babacek will take second place trophy back to Vrakow in the Czech Republic. And Freddie Wood makes it a double podium for the JGR team. George House just oh. misses out. Oh. Look what it means. I love it. I love seeing the emotion of the drivers inside. You can't even see their face, but their body language says it yeah. all. Green, I mean, he did it. He did it by getting a good start, and then everyone else kind of helped him out. It was an unfortunate... Um, and there we go. Look at that fist bump yeah, there. Yeah, I love that. It's just such... When it all comes down to it, you know, the drivers can be absolutely... And, yeah. Oh, my goodness. We're going to have... Ollie Dri There's a driver that hasn't seen oh no they're okay so i thought it was a driver that hadn't seen the chicken flag but yeah no, there's, there's probably a couple of the more upset a driver is the faster they drive back to the pits to complain yes uh, to moan okay here we go let's have a look at your unofficial results will green by 7.6 seconds uh over Derek Babacek, Freddie Wood, George House, and Ollie Warner for your top five. Privateer in second, Denny Babacek. Then you've got Cole Patterson, Finley Lyons, Jarla Sayer, Mason Brooks, Harry Williams rounds out the top ten. Harley Musk, Zach Champney, and George Clark with Smarty Kira in 14th place. 15th is Jensen Ackerman, 16th Max Mason, 17th Grayson Wortley, 18th Callum Graham, 19th Pietro Di Pietro Antonio, Lorenzo Di Pietro Antonio, 20th Enzo Batarazzi, 21st Blair Smith, 22nd Austin Houston, 23rd Baron Altensoy, 24th is Derek Rivera, 25th was Luca Narraway, 26th Nathan Hodges, 27th Orion Meta, 28th Austin Gibson, who didn't finish and neither did Charlie Clough. Uh, yes, yeah, so the, there is Will Green. And uh, one thing we will ask Nicole Sutherland to do is to make sure that before she speaks to Will Green, make sure they take their helmets off so you can see the emotion in their eyes, because that is the key to it all. Oh, there's going to be emotion here now. Of course, he's got the, the top three have to wait. <laughs> oh, right. Go and say hello and then come back in. Yeah, so I think the winning carts are staying in Park Fermi. So we didn't see Alessandro Salas drive out. Uh, I, I, what are we going to do? The, uh, I don't know, I think the, normally the top three carts drive I, out onto the circuit. I think Salas only didn't because the cart wouldn't restart uh, yes. from what I saw. But Green, I think they were saying that they can go and say hello to the mechanics. And then, uh, yeah, good to see the, uh, the 
the camaraderie between the young drivers. Thank you very much, Royal Princess Motorsport. Oh, wow. That's, that is the equivalent of a large bottle of Iron Brew, which uh, Piers <laughs> Pryor is now going to uh, sample. But here they go. They are heading out towards the media, the camera crew, and, of course, Alpha Live's Nicole Sutherland, who will, who will be waiting just about now. Nicole, that wasn't necessarily the biggest battle, but the emotion is just as great. I completely agree, Henry. Here he is, our race winner, Will Green, 2024 Water Swift GP plate. If I can get Will to take off his helmet so we can really see that big smile, all of that emotion. Will, I don't know if that's a record, but I think it should be. I think that race was won for you by the first corner. Absolutely, congratulations. If you wouldn't mind taking your helmet off for us and we'll have a quick chat. A huge congratulations, Will. How do you feel? Uh, I'm so happy. It's a dream come true, and yeah, I'm, I can't. I don't know what to say. This week, I think you've been in a, a, a league of your own. What have you done that set you so far apart from everybody else? Well, it's, the team's just helped me all the way through it, and I couldn't really say much more than that. And I've just been kept keeping focus, staying calm through all the races, and just getting good, consistent results, and it's paid off. Your name is up there now on the history books with the likes of so many successful racing drivers. Um, I think everybody in the grandstand should give Will Green such a big round of applause for that fantastic race. What a lead. And Will, here is your GP plate. Thank you. We'll head over to our two and three drivers then. Denny Babacek. Denny, great race in there from you. Will you be returning next year for a Kart Masters? We think so, yes. And how much have you enjoyed this week? What do you think of the event? I enjoyed it a lot. The atmosphere is great and very happy to be on the podium. And if we can switch the cameras then to the two Jamie Green racing drivers who have both finished one, two, sorry, one and three. Freddie Wood. Freddie, what have you got to say? It's been an amazing drive just then. It was so hard just starting P13 to P3. Danny and George drove well, just managing to just beat George. It's amazing. And who have you got to thank for this week? Jamie Green Racing, Aventus Power, Angus Fender and Sam, the driver coach. Congratulations to our 1, 2, 3 and Water Swift.